Let me therefore to all that do is to to whom this tribute is due, custom to whom custom, fear to whom fear, honor to whom honor. Owe no man anything but to love one another, for he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. For this thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, thou shalt not covet, and if there be any other commandment that is briefly comprehended in the saying, namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Love worketh no ill to his neighbor, therefore love is the fulfilling of the law. And that knowing the time that now is his high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than we when we believe. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the arm of light. Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in the rioting and the brokenness, not in the chambering and the wantonness, not in strife and envy. But put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ, and make not provision for the flesh, but fulfill the lust thereof. Chapter 14, him that is weak in the faith, receive ye, and not in the doubtful disputations. For one believeth that he may eat all things, another who is weak eateth herbs. Let not him that eateth despise him that eateth not, nor let not him which eateth not judge him that eateth. For God hath received him, who are to that judge us another man whose servants, to whom his own master he sendeth a call. Yea, he shall be holy enough, for God is able to make him stand. But men have seen one day another, another hath seen good every day alike. Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. He that regarded the day regardeth him to the Lord, and he that regardeth not to the day of the Lord, and he doth not regard it. He that eateth, eateth to the Lord, but he giveth God thanks, and he that eateth not to the Lord, he eateth not, and giving God thanks. For none of us living does it himself, and no man doth for himself. For whether we live, we live unto the Lord, and whether we die, we die unto the Lord. Whether we live, therefore, or die, we are the Lord's. For if the son of Christ must die, and rose, and revive, that he might be the Lord, both of the dead and of the living. Then why dost thou judge thy brother, or why dost thou sit and love thy brother? For we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. For it is written, As I live, saith the Lord, every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue shall confess to God. So then every one of us shall give account of himself to God. Let us not therefore judge one another man any more, but put judge in this rabbit, that no man put a stumbling block on our occasion to fall in his brother's way. I know that I am persuaded by the Lord Jesus Christ that there is nothing unclean of itself, but the him that seemeth anything to be unclean, the him that is unclean. But if my brother be great, thou wilt I meet, now walkest thou not to charity, destroy not him with thy meat. But with whom Christ died, let not then your good be evil spoken of. For the kingdom of God is not made in drink of righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. For he that is these things served with Christ is acceptable of God and approved of men. Let us therefore follow after the things which make for peace, and things wherewith one may edify another, for meat to destroy not the work of God. All things indeed are here, that it is evil for that man who eateth of offense. It is good neither to eat flesh, nor to drink wine, nor anything whereby thy brother stumbleth, or is offended, or is made weak. Hast thou faith? Have it to thyself before God. Happy is he that condemneth not himself in that thing which he alloweth. And he that doubted it is damned if he eat, because he eateth not of faith, for whatsoever is not of faith of sin. Chapter 15. We then that are strong, not to bear the infirmities of the weak, and not to please ourselves. Let every one of us please his neighbor for his good and edification. For even Christ pleased not himself, but as it is written, the reproaches of them that reproached thee fell on me. For whatsoever things were written before time, were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Now the God of patience and consolation grant you to the like-minded one for another, according to Christ Jesus, that ye may with one mind and one mouth glorify God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. For if we receive ye one another as Christ also receives us to the glory of God, now I say that we Christ is the minister of the circumcision for the truth of God. So he confirmed the promises made unto the fathers, and that the Gentiles might glorify God for his mercy. As it is written, for this cause I will confess to thee among the Gentiles and sing unto thy name. And again he says, for your two Gentiles are his people, and again praise the Lord, holy Gentiles of the Bible, all ye people. And again, as he asks, say, there shall be a root of Jesse, and he that shall rise and reign over the Gentiles, and him shall the Gentiles trust. Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that ye may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. And I myself am also persuaded of you, my brother, that ye also are full of goodness, filled with full knowledge, and able to admonish one another. Give it to us, brethren. I have written the more boldly unto you as in court, as putting you in mind because of the grace that is given to me of God, that I should be the minister of Jesus Christ, to the Gentiles ministering the gospel of God, that offering of the Gentiles might be acceptable, being sanctified by the Holy Ghost. I have therefore, whereof I have made glory through Jesus Christ and those things which pertain to God, for I will not dare to speak of any of those things which Christ hath not brought by me, to make the Gentiles obedient by word and deed, through mighty signs and wonders by the power of the Spirit of God, and so that from Jerusalem and round back to Elycrium I have fully preached the gospel of Christ. Nay, so have I strived to preach the gospel, not where Christ was named, lest I should build upon another man's foundation. But it is written to whom he was not spoken of, they shall see, and they have not heard, shall understand, for which shall came. Because I also have been much hindered from coming to you. But now, having no more place in these parts, and having a great desire these many years to come unto you, whensoever I take my journey to Spain, I will come to you, for I trust to see you in my journey, and be brought on my way to the word by you. If first I be somewhat filled with 
with your company, but now I go with the Jerusalem with the ministers and the saints. We're going to have to play with Macedonia and Asia to make a certain contribution for the four saints which are at Jerusalem. It's have pleased them verily, and the difference they are, for have the Gentiles have been made partakers of their spiritual things. Their duty is also to minister to them in searching for all things. When therefore I will perform this, and have sealed to them the truth, I will come by you into saint. And I am sure that when I come to you, I shall come in the fullness of the blessing of the gospel of Christ. Now I beseech you, brethren, for the Lord of Jesus Christ's sake, and for the love of the Spirit, that I should strive together to plead your prayers to God for me, that I may be delivered from them that do not believe in Judea, and that my service which I for Jerusalem may be accepted of the saints, and as I may come unto you, and the joy by the will of God may be with you, be refreshed. Now to God have peace be with you all. Amen. Verse 16. I commend unto the priest our sister, which is servant of the church, which is in Centura, that ye receive her in the Lord as become of saints, and that ye assist her in whatsoever business she hath need of you. For she hath been a sort of succor of many, and myself also, great Priscilla and Hephila, my helpers in Christ Jesus, who have for my life laid down their own necks, unto whom not only I give thanks, but also the churches of the Gentiles. Likewise, greet the church that is in the house. Salute well, brethren, beloved, uh, Saint Atheus, who is the first fruits of Atia in the Christ, who greet Mary, who bestowed much labor on us. Salute Adronicus and Junia, my kinsmen and my fellow prisoners who are of note among the apostles, who also were in Christ before me. Great Amphilus, my beloved in the Lord. Salute Urbane, our helper in Christ. And Statius, my beloved. Salute Hapelius, a food in Christ. Salute them which are of Aristobulus' household. Salute Herodian, my kinsman. Grace them, that be of the household of Narcissus. 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 Salute Herodian, my kinsman. Greet them, that be of the household of Narcissus. Narcissus. Which are in the which are in the Lord. Salute in Tiberia and Tarapossa, who labor in the Lord. Salute the beloved Persis, which labored much in the Lord. Salute Rufus, Rufus, chosen in the Lord, and his mother and mine. Salute Asinocritus, Philemon, Hermas, Atrobas, Hermes, and the brethren which are with him. Salute Thorogos, and Julia, Nerusus, Nerus, and his sister, and Omniopus, and all the saints which are with him. Salute one another with an holy kiss, the kiss of Christ salute you. And I beseech you, brethren, mark them which are caused divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned, and avoid them for they that are such serve not our Lord Jesus Christ but their own belly. And by good words and fair speeches to see the hearts of the simple, for your obedience has come abroad unto all men. I am glad therefore on your behalf, but I yet I would have you wise unto that which is good and simple concerning evil. And the God of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet shortly. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. Timotheus, my heart fellow, and Lucius. And Jason and Sosipater, my kinsmen, salute you. I, Tertius, wrote this epistle, salute you in the Lord. Gaius, mine host, and of the whole church, saluteth you. Erasius, and the Chamberlain of the city, saluteth you. And Cortus, a brother, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all, amen. Now to him that is of the power to establish you according to my gospel and the preaching of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery, which was kept secret since the world began, and now is made manifest and by the scriptures of the prophets according to the commandments of everlasting God made known to all nations through obedience and faith, to God only wise be glory through Jesus Christ forever, amen. 